Q106.5 and a T-shirt with uh, Thomas Rhett. Scott Miller breaking the dress code once again, wearing a T-shirt to work. <laughs> Cindy Campbell. Sorry, right, you covered it with a Town Square Media hoodie, so I you're know, good. Which, uh, <laughs> was it you, Dan, who said, hey, nice. And uh, I, I actually, they didn't give it to me. I stole it. <laughs> That's why it doesn't fit. Uh, yeah, representing here today. And into the studio, Suzanne Prendergast is the uh, executive director of Bangor Humane Society. We love the Bangor Humane Society. Society. Welcome to Q106.5. Thank you for having me on. Oh, our pleasure. A uh, lot going on with a Humane Society always, right? Busy, busy, always. Keeps and, us out of trouble. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should work there. Uh, that, <laughs> That's interesting, because when I hang around with dogs, it usually gets me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Yeah. We love the Humane Society and all that you guys do. What What is your latest uh, uh, deal you're doing? Uh, we have partnered with Quirk Subaru for a, a national event um, called uh, Subaru Loves Pets. Um, this Saturday, we will be um, fee-waving our adoptable pets. Our goal is to empty out the shelter. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it would be lovely to have an empty shelter for even for a few moments. That, yeah. would, that would be a wonderful thing. So but let's explain that just real event, quickly. Fee-waving means there is no fee. There is no fee. We're receiving a donation from um, Quark Subaru to help offset those fees, and we received a grant from the ASPCA. Wow, that's uh, awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Both. <laughs> uh, so would you really want the totally empty? Wouldn't that be kind of like, wow, this is eerie weird? I'm looking forward to eerie weird. <laughs> it it was Halloween. I and it know. wouldn't be empty for long. I yeah. It would not I be know. empty for long. Right. We've that's done it easy. one other time. I've been at the Humane Society for nine years. We did it one other time where we completely emptied the shelter of yeah. adoptable pets. And it was eerie. But it lasted for about a half a day. <laughs> yeah. But, um, for that half a day, we were pretty excited and um, gave us a chance to do some heavy duty cleaning and right. get ready for the next group. Right. But leading up to the event, I want to mention that Subaru, Quirk Subaru is doing a fill the Forester um, promotion. They're collecting items for the Bangor Humane Society from our wish list, and their goal is to fill an entire vehicle. Oh, with that's all awesome. of the things they collect for us. So, what kind of stuff are we going to take to Quirk? Yeah, all kinds of things: paper towels, bleach, dog food, uh, cat food, primarily can toys. We we use a lot of toys. Every one of our shelter pets gets up to three to four toys per t- kennel. Gives wow. them something to do while they're waiting. We don't want them to sit there bored. Um, Kongs, towels, blankets, things that we go through rather quickly at the shelter. Wow. And I would think your shelves must be pretty empty because you just uh, adopted out the last couple, you told me, of dogs that came from Texas, right? We did. Um, Our our little nuggets from Texas, they were with us for a while. (laughs) Um, They had a really long quarantine, but they all have gone home. Okay. So that's exciting. That really is great. Absolutely. When are we uh, filling the uh, the Quirk uh, Subaru. All this week, they it, stop into Quirk Subaru. They've got a Forester right there, and um, I think they're I'll be promoting it even more extensively on Thursday. But stop in any time to Quirk Subaru. Great group of people, and uh, drop off your donation. All awesome. Right. And Saturday's the adoption, the free uh, free adoption. Cool. Free adoption Saturday. We're open ten to six. Um, come by. Where all of our normal adoption um, policies still apply, so it's not uh, a free for all. Right. You know, you don't get to pick what you want. We need to make sure we make good matches that we're sending our pets into into homes um, that will take care of them, right. that will love them forever. But also to make sure that it's the right match for each pet and each family right. oh. both ways. Right. Suzanne, thank you so much for coming in. Well, oh, thank you for having me on this morning. Thanks for everything the uh, Bangor Humane Society does. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, thank you very right. much.